next 10 YouTubers and anybody else who might happen to be joining us. Um, this is going to be um, part or the first part of a series about target panic. And this is going to be uh, free access to everybody. Anybody will be able to access this video. And then further videos that I do on um, how to address it specifically are going to be X10 member exclusive videos. Um, but I hope I'll give you enough information in this video to give you some steps towards addressing what you might think is target panic. So what is target panic? You've heard it uh, talked about in many archery circles and it's the feared, dreaded disease. He's got the target panic. It's like uh, everybody fears it, but not many people really understand it, know what it is, how to address it, how to overcome it, if it's even really a thing. Um, I look at target panic like this. It's like that stray dog that walks into your yard and as soon as you give it a name, you own it, okay? So there's lots of information out there, books, videos, mental management systems, um, even training systems that speak very specifically about what target panic is and how to address it. In my experience, personally as, a, as an archer who has experienced target panic and as a coach who have worked with many, many students who have gone through the symptoms of target panic. Um, I'm not convinced it's exactly as black and white as some people make it out to be. In fact, I'm gonna twist that around. I think it's more black and white than people make it out to be. I think it's made out to be this uh, kind of voodoo thing that once you've got it, you know, it's hard to fix and all of this. And what is it? You know, it's contagious. Don't stand next to her. She's got target panic. In my view, it's, it can be a number of symptoms of underlying things that can cause you to not be able to execute your shot perfectly because at the end of the day, shot execution is what, or perfect shot execution is what we're all looking for, right? As archers. And so anything that causes us to not be able to execute the shot when it matters, and I'm not gonna talk about how we get to holding, okay? And there'll be another series that I'll do about NTS, the National Training System, where getting to holding is the most important part of the shot cycle. There's many, many ways to get there, um, but it's the actual execution of the shot is where people start breaking down and having issues. That could be the sight isn't quite settled onto the yellow before they take the shot. Hopefully they're coming down to the yellow and not up to the yellow because we all know that gravity, Fighting gravity is harder than coming down into the center. That's another subject. Not being able to get to, and this happens a lot with barebow archers, not being able to completely get to anchor and settled into holding before they take the shot. So they're going to end up snap shooting, you know, coming up to anchor and dumping the string before they've even been able to aim properly. So that's the thing. There's all sorts of ways that target panic will manifest itself, ultimately making you not feel confident when it comes to the shot execution. So that when you do that, you're creating a habit. It's a muscle memory thing of fear. Every time you get to full draw, whether you're a barebow archer, an Olympic recurve archer or a compound archer, you get to full draw and you know there's that thing that's going to happen. And that fear gets in here. Everything goes to, everything's a mess. And you don't execute your shot perfectly. So there's 
that's basically what, in my opinion, target panic is. A number of symptoms. It can be, there's all sorts of different symptoms. Like I said, snap shooting, not being able to settle into the target. And there's other things too. So do you really have it? Is it a thing? Is it a thing for you? It might well be. And if it's any one of those symptoms that I've already talked about, um, then there's a possibility that, yeah, this is something that you need to address. But I'm going to encourage you to not call it target panic. I'm not going to go into that world of don't mention the word, shh, don't say the word. It's not, I'm going to encourage you to think about whatever is causing you to not have that perfect shot execution, think about it as a symptom and we're going to address the underlying cause of it because there's generally only a couple of underlying causes that can create all of these symptoms okay so just like when you go to the doctor and they want to give you medication for this symptom and that symptom or something for your headache something for this or that or the other when there's an underlying cause that needs to be addressed okay we're not going to put band-aids on this let's look at the underlying causes of it so what causes these things? What what causes the underlying problems? Lack of confidence in your shot. How many of you go through your shot process? You know, you step up to the shooting line, put your arrow on the bow, set your hook, set your, set your grip, go through your set, set up, draw, anchor transfer, and all of that, and execute it without really knowing what you just did to get there. Kind of like, you know how it is when you uh, you drive somewhere, somewhere that you go all the time, like to work, and you get there and you don't remember driving there, or you've gotten several miles down the freeway, down the highway, and you think, I don't remember the last 20 miles of road. Have you ever done that? I have. And I think that's what happens in archery. We get complacent with our shot process especially when we're practicing you know we go to the range and we're just getting arrows down range just getting arrows down range but we're not being specific and intentional about what we're working on so we get complacent about the shot process and i'm shocked honestly sometimes when i'm working with somebody when i tell them to break down the shot cycle for me people that have been shooting for a long time and they struggle with thinking about the basics. And sometimes it's just the basics that are causing the problems. You know, we've been shooting for years, we're proficient, we've podiumed, we've got medals and all of this, yet my uh, feet distribution isn't quite right or my hand in the, in the bow isn't quite right. You know, so don't be afraid to address the fundamentals, even as an advanced or elite archer. There are some things that you can always go back to look at that may be an underlying problem for the execution at the end of the day. So lack of confidence in your shot. How can you get confidence in your shot? Is knowing it, for one. There's a system. If any of you archers that have shot um, with any USA archery coaches, any of any of us coaches at X10, myself, Coach John, Coach Jennifer, any of our, we all teach the national training system from USA Archery. It's a stepped process from one through 10, one through 11 of steps that you go through before you execute the shot. And when you know that system, you've got something to fall back on. If something's not quite right in your shot, you can go back to a specific part of that shot and evaluate what wasn't quite right. So if you don't have confidence in your shot cycle, if you don't know your shot cycle, and I'm going to call out some archers, um, I think a lot of compound archers and some trad shooters and bare bow archers are going through their shot process but not paying attention to the details before they get to the execution so break it down a little bit so 
a couple of big things that are going to prevent you from being able to fix the issues, to address your target panic, one is being overbowed. That, in my humble opinion, is one of the biggest problems for people who are suffering with target panic. Snap shooting, not being able to get to anchor, not being able to settle into the target. They're fighting the weight of the bow. Simple as that. So even if you've established proper holding, and I'll talk about holding in detail in another video, but basically it's having that straight, being inside the bow, having that straight line of the barrel of the gun set from the front hand to the rear elbow, and you're braced fully inside the bow. Even if you've got that achieved, and you're nice and strong inside the bow, if you're overbowed, you're still fighting pressure that your body cannot physically withstand. So I'm a bare bow archer now. I'm struggling inside the bow, can't hold it, I'm gonna let it go, or it gets away from me, okay? So we're not having that proper follow through, the expansion, it's, it's getting the better of me. It's controlling me instead of me controlling it. So my first recommendation is, Look at the poundage of your bow. In order to be able to train effectively and efficiently and address something like this, target panic, snap shooting, is lower the poundage of your bow. When we're training, it makes sense to be in a much lower poundage bow so you're not struggling against the weight of the bow and you're more able to focus on the, in, on the specific exercise that you're working on okay so drop it down if uh you know if you're at the range we have at our range at x10 we have many many club bows that you can borrow if you need to or just swap your limbs out for something lower if you don't have any you know talk to one of your friends see if you can borrow some limbs it's crucial don't fight the weight of your bow when you're trying to address an issue that you have okay so um, we talked about knowing your shot. That's really, to me, that's the two main things is knowing your shot cycle, which for us at X10 is the national training system and being overbowed, okay? There are many, many exercises that you can do to um, address target panic, to address the, sh the snap shooting, to address not being able to settle on the target, there's all sorts of things that we can do. Several of my archers, and I know Coach John and Coach Jennifer, have also worked with several of their archers on these exercises. And we'll be doing some follow-up videos with content specifically to help you address that. So I hope this was useful. It was a bit of a kind of a bird's eye, big picture, like look at, at target panic. I didn't give you too, too much in being able to address it. But the number one thing I, I highly recommend is making sure that you're not overbowed. And that's your first step to addressing some of these um, issues that you might be having with your shot. So um, go ahead and like the video if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Leave some comments down below. Um, we're always looking for more uh, topics that we can bring to you. And um, we'll tune in again next time. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.